What's going on everybody? I want to talk about love. What is love? And being able to distinguish the difference between the love of the world and the love of the, of the most high. Now a lot of people that love the world. The reason why they're confused with what love is. Is because the love that they rely on is temporarily. So once it's destroyed. They're like damn. Where is the love? You see what I'm saying? And so, this this is what a lot of people deal with today is not understanding what love really is. I'm going to read you this scripture. 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patience. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It is all. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. You see that? Love never fails. And so when love fails, you know that it was not proper love. Because... God is love. You see what I'm saying? So, people don't understand that the love that they're going off of is the love of the world. I'm going to give you an example. Some examples of love of the world is money. See, people love money. People love cars. People love their job. Their social status. And see, they see this as a form of taking in love. And I'm, I'm guilty of it as well. You know, I'm not going to act like I'm just some righteous, 100% righteous person. You know, there's some situations where I seek uh, a social, uh, social, uh, uh, social love, love from the job. And, you know, um, I kind of drift, I drifted away a lot from love of money. You know, but I still struggle with social status and and, and things like that, you know, and, and my career paths and stuff. I had this battle of the world, you know. It's like you have to be able to, you know that God gave you an anointing to do something in this world. But you have to be able to understand that you can't love these things. You see what I'm saying? Because these things are material things. These things is not guaranteed salvation. So this type of love is temporarily. A career path is temporarily. You see what I'm saying? But your gift is forever. You see, a car is temporarily. You see, money is temporarily. But your spiritual wealth is forever. Social status, I mean, that's temporarily. Accounts to get deleted, blocked, uh, whatever. You know, and back to money. You, you see what happened to Kanye. You know, they took all his money. You see, these material things are temporarily. So it's like we can't love these things that are of the world. We can't love. It's okay to have money, but you can't love money. It's okay to have cars and have an interest in cars, but you can't love it. You can't love your job. You can't, you know. And when I say love, I mean love these things as in putting them before God, you know. And we can easily put things before God and not even realize it, you know. If you wake up every day and you don't think about God first and you're thinking about other things, then you're putting these things before God. So you have to show your respects to God over all these things. And that will prevent you from loving these things. You see what I'm saying? You would just treat them as an asset to your life. Um, another form, some other forms of love, people base love off of in this world is sex. Sex is a big one. You know, people see... Uh, it's, it's, it's based off lust, you know, so it's, it's really temporarily. That's why people get in these relationships 
and they be in the honeymoon stage and they be having all this sex or whatever uh and so after about a couple of years they fall out of love you know even with the parents they be with these people for so long and they fall out of love with them it's like they they get tired of them you see but the thing is it's not that they got tired of them it's that their love came based off lust Lust is not forever. It's temporarily. It's of the world. You know, you can lust off person you love and spend seven years with them and see another person on the street somewhere and just people, you can randomly lust off that person. You see what I'm saying? And it'll just be a temporarily thing. And so situations like this, it shows that lust is temporarily, you know, so it's not sex and appearance is is love of the world. I mean, don't get me wrong, appearance, you want somebody to have good appearance, you know, you want to be satisfied with them in the, in the bed or whatever. But these things are temporarily things, so you can't uh, base your love off lust, you know, you can't, you just can't do it, you know. Everybody you get with are not going to be, for instance, you uh, been through multiple relationships, okay? Everybody's not going to have the same sex capacity as the other, the another partner you had, or another husband and wife you, other one you had, or or uh, appearances in. You know, everybody's going to have their pros and cons, and so. You can't sit up here and base something off um, a particular. You can't base your love off lust because it's it's only temporarily, you know. And once somebody once you base something off lust, after a while, you're gonna lust after somebody else. That's why it's not good to base your love off lust. And I'm going to read you another scripture right here. 1 John 4, 7, 21. Um, okay. Beloved, let us love one another for love is from God. And wherever love have been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God. Because God is love. In this, the love of God was made manifested among us that God sent his only son in this world so that we might live through him. Now, this is true love. You see, love is God is love. So when you operating with the Holy Spirit, when you're when you're operating in the spirit, you, you're operating in God's love. So. God's love is true love. Therefore, it can't fail. So what I'm when I'm when I'm when I'm trying to what I'm trying to get to is when you operating in the spirit of love from God, it lasts. When you operate in the spirit for the love of the world, it doesn't last. So we have to we have to love covers a multitude of sin. Love does not envy, love does not boast. That scripture that I showed you, that's the true meaning of love and love makes a person not want to Love the things of the world. True love makes a person not want to love the things of the world. When you love God, when you got, when you have God's love, it does not want you. It 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 convicts you to not want to love money, cars, jobs, social status, um, uh, lust, sex, appearance. It convicts you of that. When it convicts you of that, you have to make the changes. Because if you don't. 
you're going to cross back over to the love of the world. You see what I'm saying? And it's not going to be pleasant for you because especially when you have been anointed, you know, you're going to feel that pain. You're going to feel that that wickedness over on your shoulders. You're going to feel that weight if you're moving off the love of the world. You're going to feel the weight. You see what I'm saying? So you want to be careful about loving the things of the world and the things that are loved in the world. Rather, it's best to love God who is out of this world, but who is over this world. This is true love. This is true love. God is love. Make money. Don't let money make you. Put God's love over everything, including cars, clothes, money, any material things. And remember, the love of the world is the counterfeit love. And that's my message. That's the rest of my message for y'all today. All right, God bless.